so let us consider a simply supported beam subjected to udl that is uniformly distributed load w for a length of l here i have shown the simply supported beam ab of a span of l subjected to uniformly distributed load w per unit length this is shear force diagram and bending moment diagram which we will draw at the end first here i have taken the simply supported beam of length l and subjected to load w the reactions at a and b will be since that is a uniform load on the top of the beam it will be total load on the beam divided by 2 so the total load will be w into l w l by 2 ra and rb is w l by 2 then let us consider a section xx at a distance of x from a so first we'll try to draw the shear force diagram so f equal to at distance of x that is at the section xx first the shear force will be this reaction r a minus w into x so r a is w l by 2 minus the load is w into it is spread over the span of x so w into x so at x equal to 0 the shear force will be W L by two minus W into the x is zero, so it will be W L by two. Then at x equal to L, the shear force will be W L by two minus W X. This is the equation. We have to substitute x equal to L. L means it will be at B, so it will be W L by two minus W into L. So W L by two. Minus, if we take the LCM, we will get W L by two minus two W L by two, that is minus W L by two. So I have drawn the shear force diagram over here. At A we have got W L by two. At B it is minus W L by two. And since here we have got x, it will be variation will be. linear variation so at a positive wl by 2 and at b it will be minus wl by 2 that is negative so variation will be like this and shear force will be zero at the mid span this is how we draw the shear force diagram next let us draw the bending moment diagram so at section xx here let us find the bending moment how to find the bending moment bending moment is always the reaction or the force into distance so at section xx the bending moment will be first there are two forces as we can see this is ra and this load so at xx we have to find the bending moment so first the bending moment due to reaction will be this ra into distance is x so ra into x and minus w into x will be the load wx into it is the distance is x by 2 so w x square by 2 so if we substitute x equal to 0 then we will get w l by 2 into 0 minus 0 by 2 the bending moment will be 
at a at x equal to zero means here. Then at x equal to l at that is at b, it will be if we substitute x equal to l in this equation, it will be w into l by two into l minus w here in place of x l square by two. So w l square by two minus w l square by two will be zero. Then at x equal to l by two means here at the mid span. M equal to in this equation w l by two into in place of x we have to substitute l by two l by two minus w by two into l by two whole square. If we take the LCM then we will get 2 w l square minus w l square by 8 equal to w l square by 8. Now here as you can see at x equal to zero means at a bending moment is zero at b also the bending moment is zero and at mid span that is at l by 2 we are getting bending moment w l square by 8. So here I have drawn the bending moment diagram. At a it is zero. At b it is zero. At mid span it is w l square by eight. Since it is a here we are getting an equation x square, so it will be a parabolic variation. So we have to draw it is in it in a curve form. So this is the bending moment diagram. Thank you.